Howdy. Been busy. Thought I was done this, but been working on this ground mount for a couple of weeks. Actually, I'm gonna get uh, there's a security camera up on the corner. So that's recorded everything. So I'm gonna compile all that and do like a assemble all those videos into like a what do you call it <clears throat> high speed fast frame <laughs> the whole thing from start to finish but anyways what I'm doing today I'm gonna add these posts down here those were the drops that I cut off the top of those four one two three and four so we've got three inch square tube thought it'd be more rigid than it is so altogether here this is 800 pounds of panel and what I don't like is if I'm, I'm just grabbing it right here and I'll just give it a little tug and you watch that top corner I don't know how well you can see that she wobbles a little bit. I thought these three or yeah, three three by three square tubes would be more rigid. But uh, I'm not worried about it coming down at all. But we do get some high winds out here. And it's a big sail. I've got it on a steep slope. It's fixed. I'm not worried about adjusting it. It really doesn't matter set more for winter than anything the snow will be easy to clean off so it's all three by three and two by two all screwed in together with those angle brackets and I got one on this side one on this side it's sturdy but it's not rigid enough so I'm going <clears> to <throat> cement these into the ground and then run a diagonal, I'm not sure yet, probably one by one square tube, I could use angle iron, I'm not sure, but I'm going to weld a brace that'll go basically from up here on a diagonal, welded right across, up, and that'll take the, <clears throat> that wobble out. So I was... Uh, starting to drill a hole I hit a root and I should have got the camera out for it I got that jackhammer from uh, Vivor I've had it quite a while works really good had to cut my way through these roots that I hit but yeah all this kife here was in the way trying to break my arms running this post hole logger down so we cracked that all out just plugged it into the generator there so it's all good so I'm gonna work my way across get these posts cemented in today I doubt I'll get them welded up tonight today but uh, yeah like I say so this is 20 250 watt I got them used got them cheap all that steel was about $1,400 delivered got that down at the, the same company that built built my shop CDN in Delhi Ontario so yeah they dropped off all the steel I got a bunch more steel there for fencing later on so there's 20 panels 250 each they're probably about 10 years old now that's okay I tested them all this morning they're all putting out 32.8 32.9 and that was earlier so I don't know I could test them again it's probably a little bit higher I think they're rated for 37 so you know they're not the, the highest performance that you can get but uh, the idea here is seven will be strung together, seven and seven to run two heat pumps. 
and that'll leave six left to add to charge batteries in the shop so have to do a whole lot of trenching once this is all dealt with here I'll trench a line over right on this corner of the shop install the heat pump outside there the outside unit run the hoses up put the interior module just inside the building there so anyways yeah just a quick little update and yeah it'll be neat when I can finally get all that security camera footage I'm, I'm pulling it all off I needed to get a bigger flash drive because it's a lot of video so it's gonna have to go in like super fast speed but my old computer I don't even have enough space to download CapCut I gotta I gotta get a new computer or something so I can get a video editor going and uh, yeah put all these videos together so you can check into that later on if you're interested at all anyways bye for now